Hello everyone, I am Torior and welcome back to Let's Play Hearts of Iron 4 as the United States of America. We have annexed a lot of territory from the Soviet Union and we also puppeted quite a lot of people. Actually even puppeted the Russian Federation. Because I was curious to see how the puppets will, you know, turn out to work in the long run and so on. So, can I theoretically, um, can I leave the Alliance now if I were not at war, if I have puppets in it? Mm, leave faction. Yeah, when the war is over. Right, so now I can start building stuff in the newly acquired provinces. Do we want to do that? I still get more civilian factories. I do like civilian factories. And those territories are now ours. Let's make sure to build nuclear reactors everywhere, because we can only, we're only allowed one in each province, and I do want a lot of them. Make sure to do that. And again, all this territory does belong to us. So it will not be a problem. Now, another question is, do I need more civilian factories, or do I only need military now? Mm, I am not sure. Okay, let's make sure we build those nuclear reactors everywhere. Oh, wait a minute. I did not annex this yet. This is currently owned by someone else. I need to cancel this order. Uh, where's that? Where's that? Yugoslavia. Yeah, we don't need those. More reactors, please. This is done now. Mm, we did annex uh, this area. So here we go. And some more down here. That's a lot of atomic bombs. Okay, perfect. Now, um, do I want nuclear? Um, do I want civilian or military factories in the area? That is the next question. I guess I could just build civilian here and fill the rest with military ones. Once the all the wars are over. What do you think? I could probably do that. We will have some time before we strike at uh, the Germans. And I will build military factories in all the territory we will have. Although is that too much? Is this too, too many civilian factories? We do have quite a lot of them. Actually not as many as I'd like. No, I'm gonna keep doing that. Make sure you build all of these factories. And then later on you can work on military ones. Also repair all the ones that were destroyed here. Uh, right. So we need naval bases and stuff like that. It can wait, I guess. Because um, naval bases, yeah, those are different slots, so I don't need to worry about that. Mm, okay, and Greece. And those are now annexed territory, so they will not rebel. There is no need to worry about that. There will be no unrest in those territories. All right, now prioritizing. Um, let's first do the nucleus. Mm, yeah, the nuclear reactors. Come on, come on. Oh, there's a lot of them. This is going to take me forever. Come on. Oh, I started from the wrong one. Alright, I have a complicated plan, as always. Yeah, send all the nuclear reactors to the top, and then send all the civilian factories to the top um, above the reactors. It'll take me a short while to do it. Now, all the reactors from um, the almost top also need to be sent up there. I mean, those reactors are important, but civilian factories are more, more so. And here we go, all the civilian factories. 
and then the civilian factories that were being built before because they are partially built and I don't need to be repairing anything because they will repair on their own very very slowly so it's um, a better use of my resources it is to just let them repair on their own perfect so first we construct a lot of civilian factories which then help construct even more which then in turn construct nuclear reactors we already have a couple of them 34 to be exact and yeah that's about it let us continue also i'll need to build naval bases naval bases and stuff but that can wait now i need to reassign my troops i'm still at war with the british raj Xinjiang is fortunately now my puppet so we can attack from here you are going to get assigned actually there's too many of you in this army let's take half of you and make a new one You'll be assigned here, and attack south, go, you will get a field marshal, which one, MacArthur, actually I don't need that many troops here, do I, hmm, maybe I do, okay, let's merge you together, you're going to this border over here. You'll help these guys a bit. And invade this way. Go. And you are no longer needed where you are, so I'm going to add you to... Actually, you can just stay where you are. Okay. Let's, um, let's unpause. Oh, I have free naval dockyards, do I? Um, tons of convoys, don't need that. I guess I'll do some whatever really. Let's do I don't need carriers. I'm not using them. I'll do a lot of light cruisers. Yeah, all those damaged factories will replenish in time. Well not all of them, but many of them. Also once we finish researching the tanks, I'll start producing those. Let's unpause and continue. Yeah, our plan is working well. The problem with Germans is that they have a lot of strong, strong forces, so we'll have to do surgical strikes. We'll have to, you know, take territory here and strike at Berlin and all the other major cities while laying, uh, you know, a road made of nukes in front of us. Yay, nukes! Uh, did I enable all the plans? Yeah. So now it's just a matter of time. We'll get supplies. Not a lot of them, but it'll be sufficient. Okay. So the construction is going... well. It is going well. Construction speed 116 per day. Infantry equipment 3 is done. That makes our infantry as good as it can be without night vision. And we'll get night vision as well. Which we'll need marines. We'll have good landing crafts. Still haven't gotten this. I guess I'll do super fortress, maybe. Mm, or better companies. No, those are 45. That is even more advanced. Let's do super fortress. Why not? Just for the range. I guess I could just modify it for... It's not that important, really. You guys need a new order, don't you? Your new order is to go here. Everyone be aggressive, everyone advance, while I build up my economy to tremendously high levels, and then get military factories. Yeah, I know I'm delaying the military factories, but we will have at least at least a year uh, of break between wars to build everything up. I want to do a massive bam everywhere. And then I will need those factories. See how fast they're building. And each of them is contributing to faster construction later on. What ships? I don't need to be doing anything. You can just return home. Can you? I'll just build new ships, whatever. Run away. No mission. 
may lose a lot of navy. But I still have a lot of ships. It's not crucial. No, that's important. Oh, also, invading from our puppet's territory, we actually get the territory. Although I might have put too many troops here because there is suffering attrition. But this war will be over soon. Yay, United States. I might also take some puppets, but the important thing will be to get territory close to important German points. Like, I'll need to take the Polish territory here, so that we can jump on Berlin. That will be crucial to our war effort. And, you know, nuke everyone. Also, I'll try to take uh, Koska. Because we could launch an invasion of Rome from there. And that will also be quite important to our war effort. I'll need a lot of ships here. Rocket engines, perfect. Now we can do jet engines, finally. And then super awesome amazing fighters. That's the actual name. Right. Still not a lot of air experience. Uh, suffering attrition. How much attrition are you suffering? 11%. That is a lot. So I could reorganize them, but eh, it's fine. We have a lot of manpower and a lot of equipment. And really, really... Mm, yeah, a lot. Convoys are sufficient. We do need convoys for trading and invasions. But mostly it's invasions that concern us. And if, when it comes to our economy, you can change it later. Although, can I still change it when we're, we're no longer at war? Later on, can I? Expert focus? Yeah, I can't do limited expert. I would need to change my ideology again. We'll be at war. Oh, if we switch to expert focus, that would be sufficient. We do have a lot of territory that gives us resources. I can always trade for the remaining bits that we need. Yeah. Um, so, how far are you from surrendering? Paratroopers. Do I do paratroopers 3? Yes, yes I do. So, how far? Hmm. Oh, wait a minute. I could nuke them. I have that option now. Although, do I really want this war to be over fast? Not really, because we control more territory than Germany does. Don't we? No, actually Germany does control more. So the sooner the war is over, the better for us. So I could theoretically move my planes here and just nuke them. But we're advancing so fast that it is not necessary. No, no, let's do it. Let's drop a nuke. I need an airport. Where is an airport? Here's an airport. What? You can't be assigned here? Too far. Hmm. Doesn't matter, doesn't matter. I'll assign you down here. Oh, no, I won't. 900 enemy fighters is not something we can challenge right now, and also it is something that we will be able to very easily challenge later on. Okay, let's, um, what should I do? What I should do is take this airport. That will solve all our problems. And then I can just bomb um, Delhi from there. Okay, stop it, stop it, don't move, halt the divisions, uh, planes, you need to be here, and assign to this area, strategic bomber, don't need a mission, just drop the nuke, and it's all fine, don't take Delhi, I need it, crap, you have taken Delhi, stop it. I need to nuke it first. <laughs> I could just stop the execution of the plan, but that would stop all of them. Okay, are the planes here yet? The plane are... Yes, they are. Is the bomber here yet? Yes, it is. Okay, what's your national unity? Uh, base is 50. I can drop four nukes and they will surrender immediately. Let's drop two. Okay. 
Yeah, our national unity is 40% now. And they will surrender once I take... Yes, per this is perfect, because I'll also get uh, the participation for taking Delhi. Come on, give it to me. Yes, and they surrender now. British Raj has capitulated. And where's my peace conference? Has someone not given up yet? Maybe it'll happen shortly. Here it is. Okay. So, we are the first to choose. The most important bit for us is these bits. Because we want to be able to reach Berlin easily. I would also like the Norwegian lands. Especially this province here, because that is a lot of ports that we can use. And I would like to take some territory in Britain, just in case Germany does so. So that we can you know, assault them. Also some on the coast of France. And some close to Italy. Uh, especially this. And maybe something here. Like, they may, like Dalmatia. Because I could take a lot of territory in Yugoslavia. Then it would only be a matter of coordinating our efforts. Uh, we can largely ignore Africa for now. Because no, none of our enemies will be around here. Mm, Japan. Yeah, I need something close to Japan. Japan will probably be the biggest problem. I'll just need to do a naval invasion once all the others have capitulated. So, let's see. Uh, okay, we need stuff next to Spain. Because Spain has joined the Axis. Be nice to have Denmark. Not, not all of it is necessary, but it is nice to have it. Also, this is very defensible. So it's just convenient to take it. Okay, the more Poland we can take, the easier it will be to take out Germany. And the more Yugoslavian territory we can take, the easier it will be to take out Italy. Mm, what is the priority here? I guess I should probably connect my territories. That should work out. So we'll need something in Britain and France. Now let's... Um, I think we should leave it at that for now. They want to take any crucial territories. We have taken all the most important territories. We can always take something else on the coast of France and Britain. So let's end our turn. Let's see what Germans take. And the Italians. Now Germany took quite a bit. Yeah, I'll need to bomb these areas, so my next priority is to take Normandy. From Normandy I can both nuke and invade the areas. I guess I could finish off taking Poland. Maybe make my borders here better. Be easier to invade Italy from both sides. If I can also take Yugoslavia, I'll have... I'll be nicely posed to invade Hungary and... Um, you know what? I'm actually going to skip. I'm actually going to skip this round. We'll be able to take much more in the next one. All right. This is far from perfect, but it works. I'll take. Do I need Brittany? I don't need Brittany. It would be much nicer if we could connect the territory. I don't expect Germany to take that much, but I'll take Norway. I don't want anyone in here. I'll take the rest of Poland, and I'll take the rest of Yugoslavia. From Yugoslavia we can mm, invade all of the Balkans and also help our invasion against Italy. And now what remains is bits and pieces elsewhere. I do want some territory in here, but we can always retake it quite easily, if we don't get it now. So the strategic thing to do, mm, I guess I could take Brittany as well, the strategic thing to do is to take places like Sussex. Mm, London is expensive. Mm, also, maybe Mun Munster. Because from there we can invade the whole of the islands, and we can also send some strikes in here. But we can do that from Denmark as well. Yeah, we have kind of surrounded them. Just remember, Hulse is in the Axis. Iran, Iraq, I believe, Spain with. Spain is taken care of mostly, 
Africa we don't need to involve. Japan will be a problem. But we do have Philippines, and from the Philippines we can send our invasion forces. Uh, so even if they take territory in the British Raj and so on, that will not be a big deal. Alright, what else? I guess I don't really care about the islands here. I could take Canada. Canada is mostly cheap land. Now we're just taking it not for strategic reasons, just just for, you know, having to manage less front lines. If we take all of Canada, there will be no German troops there. And that's too much. Okay, let's end the turn. Let's see what Germans take. What have you taken, Germans? I'm not sure what they've taken. Mm, oh, they've taken all of Africa. Fortunately, there is not a lot of victory points there. This is cheap land. I could take it myself, but I think it is more important to take strategic locations around here. Okay, let's finish off the American continent, because I don't want to be involved on two continents at once. Or three continents, because we'll be in Asia anyway. Oh, I haven't taken a look at Australia yet. I could just take Australia out. This is pretty mm, pretty expensive stuff, though. I can always take them out later with a naval invasion if it comes to it. Oh, I can't take that much. You know what? I'm going to reset and sit this one out. Okay, you took the rest of Africa. Australia is still intact. So is America. One more. Pass. You have taken out the rest down south. No one has touched America yet. Mm, British Raj is being taken apart. Siam. Oh, Siam. Ah, I need territory here as well. Okay. This could be sufficient to invade them. Into both sides. Though it might be convenient, more convenient to have this. But we have already built... We have already built ports in this area, so that already has the infrastructure for invasions. Mm, okay, let's finish taking the Americas. Don't really need to take all of Mexico, but it will be more elegant that way, I believe. Japan will be most problematic, as it always is. Nicaragua. Perfect. No one can challenge our rule on the American continent. Now, we don't really need those islands here. But, mm, don't need these. I guess I could invade Iraq from here, so let's take this one province. Now, British Raj and the like. I guess I'll take this area. It'll be ni a nice invasion spot for everything here. Right. We do have some points left, so I could take more coast. I can just move north with our orders. Alright. And this. Uh, do I need to take Australia? Could I puppet Australia? Is it an option? Where's Australia? I could puppet Australia. I could just take their territory. It is expensive. And if they don't become puppeted, it will not be that relevant. You know what? I'm gonna puppet Australia, just for the gist of it. And also New Zealand. Oh, can I puppet New Netherlands still? No. I can puppet New Zealand. Uh, only if I drop a province. I guess I could do that. Ceylon doesn't have a direct connection, so I could drop Ceylon. Or my saw in Madurai. That works out as well. Although... Nope. Yeah, this is a very nice invasion spot. Bam! Everything goes north. Mm, anything else? No, that'll be it for this run. Someone took that. Oh, your puppet. Ah, crap. Mm, I'll need to send an invasion force then. 
I will manage, not a problem. Yeah, let's take a bit more territory in the British Raj. Be easier to launch an invasion then. Um, do I want Australia? Do I want any puppets? Ireland. I could puppet Ireland. It's not necessary. France. Satellite China and Puppet People's Republic of China. Didn't we already do that? No, apparently not. But they will have absolutely no territory, so what's the point in that? Oh no, they would take some territory. What territory would you get? Hope I wouldn't break the game. Is that the same province? Yes, it's the same province. I can't do both. I could satellite them from other places, like Jordan, Palestine. No, I don't need to. This will be okay. Let's just expand our invasion mm, spots. Also take out the rest of Australia. I probably shouldn't have puppeted Australia, but it's too late now. I could give this territory to them. How do you do that? Uh, New Zealand. Get this. Will it actually go to them? Mm, yes. Alright, so let's cancel the Australian bids. And give them to Australia. Yeah, here you go. Have those. We won't need to worry about them ourselves. Now, mm, for more strategic stuff, I'll take Cyprus. And I'll take some more territory in here. Oh, that's too much, is it? Wait, but I can't take much, can I? I should probably pass once or twice. But that's... Okay, that, let's pass in the next round. Let's see what our frenemies do. Oh! Who got that? Ireland was puppeted by someone. Good thing we took Munster. We can now invade them quite easily. Alright, um, so I guess I'll take... I guess I'll take... Not really need this. I can let them have it. I guess I'll take more coast. Coast is always very convenient, especially if we just drop lots of naval bases there. And I'll take some Britain. Mm, you can have this. Oh, that's too much, is it? Right, I was supposed to pass, wasn't I? Let's pass. What did you take? Let's pass again. Let's pass once again. And again. And one more time. Ah, crap. Still, I'll be too easily. Now I do have enough points to take everything else, so... I'll just crush you from all... from both sides. Without any trouble. And I can take the coast of the British Raj. It'll be easy to stage an invasion from there. Uh, should I take Madagascar? Hmm, not sure. Saudi Arabia is not an ally of ours, is, are they? Let's see, who else is here? Mm, Italy did puppet a lot of people. Seems like I actually might need the territory. Ah, it's not a big deal. Did puppet them here. I guess I'll take more British Raj then. We just have to build up infrastructure. Okay. Take those islands, because why not? This belongs to Australia. Okay, you can have it. Yo, Australia. Mm. Here you go. Who does this belong to? Australia as well. I can have those. Yeah, whatever. Anything else left? Yeah, Madagascar. So I'll take it. 
bits of the UK. Is that everything? Surely there's something else left. That's probably all. Yeah, that's all. Done. Okay, so our plan kind of worked. We do have a great position to strike at our enemies that used to be our friends. I will have to carefully plan this and also build up my forces very, very significantly. Justification, Russia is justifying against me even though they're my puppet, is that possible? Did I not puppet them properly? Wait a minute. Can a puppet be disloyal? Hmm. Well, I one of my goals in this campaign was to understand puppets a bit better, so... Wait a minute, this is a Russian Federation, and this is Russian Federation 2. Is that a different Russian Federation? No? So why? Why is this happening? Also, why did you suddenly get Siberia? Well, all of this is Siberia, actually, so... What, Manchuria, right? I'm not really good with this. Um, yeah, so our plan? Invade everyone, but that will happen over the course of the next few episodes. Also, we do have some free military factories, but I will also deal with this soon. For now, it's time to end. Thank you for watching, I hope you did enjoy the video, and I'll see you again soon, and attack Germany. Goodbye.